What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. Picking up the camera, it's already the afternoon, but I've just been working from home pretty much all day and I'm ready to just do something for myself right now. I recently got back from Dallas and I was out there with Gymshark. It was a very short but jam-packed trip and I feel like it's been taking me some time to just get back into routine. Um, the first few initial days of me being back, I was feeling a little under the weather. Slightest bit of fatigue and a little bit of a sore throat, but I'm good now. I want to spend the next few days just getting back into my workouts, eating right, and just staying productive. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Just got into the car because I'm heading over to Barry's. I'm taking a Barry's class, which I haven't done in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm all dressed for that. I'm also wearing my puffer because it's so cold. I booked this class through ClassPass, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically an app where you pay a fee or use the free trial, which I'm on my free trial right now just to test it out. But basically it gives you credits and with those credits, you can book any sort of fitness workout class in your area or just like anywhere really. So instead of buying class packs or getting a membership at one certain studio, you can switch around and try new things. This is not sponsored, but I will leave my referral link downstairs or not downstairs down below and then that gives you credits that gives me credits so win-win for everyone but yeah we got a chest back and abs workout booked at 310 so I should probably get going to wash it you guys saw i went to berries and then i went to costco after which i've been meaning to do because i just want to restock on veggies fruits and it is significantly cheaper to buy from costco trader joe's is relatively cheap but it definitely adds up and it's such a small amount so when it comes to veggies and fruits produce all that sort of stuff i'd rather buy from costco on the menu today we have rotisserie chicken literally five dollars so good i'm gonna steam some broccoli and then I have this as my rice, quinoa and brown rice. I literally don't have to do any cooking whatsoever, just heating up and assembling. for the past few hours catching up on emails starting a new video just got off a call and now i'm enjoying some breakfast i wanted to try this cereal from costco it's called catalina crunch and i didn't even read the label when i was in there i just kind of saw it and was like oh let me just try it it's supposed to be like a cinnamon toast crunch dupe i guess definitely not quite that but it's not terrible and i think has 11 grams of protein per serving it's pretty good. It's not bad to have my workout outfit on already because I'm just excited to get to that point of my day. <laughs> yeah, happy Thursday. I actually had a bowl of this last night too after dinner as like my dessert. Not mad about it. Best salad kit from Costco, I swear. I had every intention of getting to the gym by 1 or 2 p.m. and now it is almost 4. I wanted to go at that time because the gym tends to be a little bit less crowded during those hours because, you know, people are at work or it's just not peak hours. And we are now approaching those hours in the day. So I'm a little bit unsure if I want to go. I wanted to do a mic'd up workout in the gym because I haven't done that yet. I just recently got, oh, here it is, this Rode mic. I've only used it a couple times and I've been meaning to take it with me to the gym just as a little switch up because I know in my vlogs, I either do a montage with music or sometimes I'll do a voiceover but if I could just, you know, continue vlogging in the gym and just talk you through while I'm working out, I think that could be kind of fun. 
I really don't like to film when I go later in the day too because I just feel bad if I'm like getting in people's way. Obviously it's more crowded. But I literally did a cycle ride, like a 20 minute ride downstairs. Um, it's like a little cardio warm up and it's like a little cardio warm up and after I finished the ride, I was gonna go to the gym right after. But I came upstairs, realized I hadn't had lunch yet. I was like, I'm actually really hungry. I don't think I could work out on a nearly empty stomach. Got caught up with more editing and now I'm eating my lunch at like 4 p.m. Mm. Y'all, I got so lucky. I scored this corner of the gym. It's so crowded though. I made a round through the gym and literally every single piece of equipment is taken. So I was able to snag this little corner. Puffer jacket coming up. This bench is right in front of a mirror, but I'm gonna turn it this way. Perfect, I think today is gonna be a shy girl shoulder workout. I'm thinking shoulders and core. Seated dumbbell shoulder press. There's literally no dumbbells. <laughs> Normally I would start at 25 or 27.5s and then make my way up, but oh wait, actually hold on. Wait. A pair of 25s just opened up. So we will start here. <sighs> my hair's in a bun, so I can't really rest my head back. Do not think about that one. on deck. Two more. I wonder if the mic is picking up the music that plays in my gym. That's one thing about my gym. They do play their music pretty loud. Okay, I think we're just gonna stick to the 30s because no 35s, no 40s. In my seat, once again, I'm doing a seated front raise drop set. So I have two sets of weights, 12.5 and then 7.5. Right, I'm gonna aim for eight to 10 reps. Trying not to let my arm fall down too quickly. Trying to resist. 10, okay. Rest, rest, rest. I say 12 to 15. Lightweight, lightweight. Oh my God. Your body. Sorry. Sorry, no, it's okay. Back my two sets. Next we have Arnold press. So similar to the shoulder press that we did, but you'll see I turn my arms in this way. Whoa. I cry. Okay, next, I've set up my bench so that it's at a incline. I'm gonna do reverse delt flies. I should fact check myself. Incline dumbbell, reverse fly. <laughs> Exercise is gonna be a lateral raise, but I wanna do it on the cable to make this a complete dumbbell only workout. You could do lateral raises with the dumbbell and that way you don't have to go find another piece of equipment in the gym, but I do wanna use the cable, so. I'm saying goodbye to my little station. Literally have it on the lowest weight setting right now. Okay, this side is way better. Four different 
exercises, a minute each, starting with work, rest for another minute, start it up again. You could do it one more time, two more times, or three more times, it'd be crazy. Hello from me and my hotel bathroom. <laughs> that was such a fun workout. I'm so happy that I got to take you guys with me and the whole mic'd up workout worked out. I truly believe that if I can do a mic'd up workout during peak gym hours, but yeah, right now my hair is marinating. I put in a hair mask and I already hopped in the shower, shampooed, did the hair mask, washed my body. I'm gonna let this sit for another 20, 25 minutes or so. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna prep dinner. I'm gonna make dinner for myself. I'm gonna make another simple, simple meal for myself. So let's stop that. morning y'all i love a good early morning friday we're up and at them i've been on a little workout class kick these days so i am taking a pilates class this morning my friend tommy is an instructor at core movement here in san francisco and i've been meaning to take his class but i've only taken pilates i mean i took it for the first time last week when i was in dallas that was like the perfect introduction to it and now i'm like craving that burn that i felt when i was on the reformer it's a different type of intensity that i would get from lifting in the gym. It's not the type of burn that I can achieve myself. So I gotta seek it out from a Pilates instructor. So yeah, core movement is here in Castro, right along Market Street. I actually got princess parking. And because my class is at eight and will end around nine, I don't have to worry about parking, I'm paying the meter, which is great. It's within a block radius, Castro has literally all the gyms that you would need. The berries, ow. The berries that I went to a couple days ago is literally over there. There's a Fitness SF, which is my gym, but different location down the corner that way. There's a Soul Cycle that way. I'm sure there's a bunch of yoga studios and whatnot here. Castro is popping. But yeah, I made sure to get here early because I need to be walked through all the stuff because this is my first core movement class. I'll let y'all know how it goes, but I'm really excited. It'll be cool seeing Tommy in action as an instructor. 